Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shira Matsuzawa and Happy New Year to all of you and your family. Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, we're expecting to see plenty of snow in the mountains and lots of snow usually equals lots of skiing. Our Chase Beefelt went up to Bogus Basin to see how they're preparing the roads and the slopes for skiers. There will be awesome skiing conditions this weekend at Bogus Basin because we expect to see a lot of snow hit the mountain. CEO Brad Wilson and his entire staff will be getting the resort ready for the high volume of people he expects to see this weekend. It's a bustling village up here when it's snowing. You know, skiers don't like to wait for a lift to open when there's powder on the ground. So we always try to get open early and provide that, uh, you know, for those powder skiers to get out and, and make some tracks. Wilson says staff will be all hands on deck this weekend. They will be shoveling walkways, salting the roads, and keeping the snow off the tents to prevent buildup. Staff will also be out early to make sure the lifts are ready for the eager early morning skiers looking for some fresh powder. Getting the lifts ready takes a little bit longer when it's snowing, so uh, we come in early and get the lifts ready and spinning, and we always try to open the lifts uh, before our scheduled opening time. Wilson says this snowfall will make up for the three week period in December when the mountain didn't get much at all. This weekend should provide a good snow base for the rest of the winter. You never know when it's going to come and, uh, and we're always happy when it does. While it may be a new year, that doesn't mean COVID is behind us. You know, it's really critical that we really pay attention as we see that, you know, the numbers are dropping a little bit, but we also have a you know, uh, a new strain of virus that may come into our, uh, our neighborhood that we have to be careful of. And we just have to be really, really vigilant until we get the vaccine and, and we start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Forget about that last year and let's look forward and, uh, and have a great time and, uh, and really uh, enjoy what we have to offer so close to the Treasure Valley. Bogus Basin requires everyone to wear a mask on the patio, in the lodge, and while they're going up the ski lifts. But when you're going down the mountain, feel free to take that mask off and feel the fresh air on your face. Reporting in Bogus Basin, I'm Chase Beefelt.